let us found a patriotic society of women descended from colonial ancestry. With these words spoken in April 1890, Maria Van Rensselaer of New York initiated what was to become the oldest colonial lineage society for women in the United States, the Colonial Dames of America. The New York Times has called the CDA one of the country's most exclusive organizations. 130 years after its founding, we continue our commitment to the CDA mission. The Colonial Dames of America honors American history through preservation and education. After the organization of the parent chapter in New York, the society expanded in the 19th century to Baltimore in 1892, Philadelphia in 1895, and Washington, D.C. in 1898. The early 20th century saw more chapters established in the United States, as well as three European chapters in Paris, London, and Rome. By the beginning of 2020, the Colonial Dames of America had expanded to 40 chapters, spread from the East Coast to San Francisco and Los Angeles, to the Midwest, Texas, and the South. The most recent are in New Orleans, Louisiana, Santa Barbara, California, and Birmingham, Alabama. Regional meetings serve to inform chapters and allow interaction between those in the same geographical area. The CDA annual meeting in New York City brings together dames from around the United States and Europe. The Society works closely with chapters to research and document genealogical history of America's founders. Each chapter is committed to a local historic preservation project, and each one supports CDA's crowning achievement, the Mount Vernon Hotel Museum and Garden in Manhattan. Certainly the most important decision after the founding of the Society was the purchase of one of the oldest buildings in Manhattan, built in 1799. 
In 1924, the Dames paid $49,000 for what today is known as the Mount Vernon Hotel Museum, which is now among the most unique small museums in America. The opening of the Mount Vernon Hotel Museum was timed to coincide with the New York World's Fair in 1939. Today it attracts thousands of visitors from school groups to American and international visitors. 1973 was an important year for our museum. It was restored through the efforts of the CDA and listed in the National Register of Historic Places. In 1976, the bicentennial year, the Society raised funds to purchase the headquarters building adjacent to the museum. 1990 saw the completion of the first stage of a capital campaign, and in 1991, the National Endowment for the Humanities issued a challenge grant of $250,000. Thanks to the generosity of dames and other donors, the CDA raised $1.5 million to endow the Mount Vernon Hotel Museum. The Colonial Dames of America celebrated its centennial in 1990, along with the 50th anniversary of the Mount Vernon Hotel Museum and Garden. For the first time, the museum was accredited by the American Alliance of Museums, an accreditation it maintains today. Each chapter selects a representative to the Council of Proprietors, who is responsible for keeping her local chapter up to date on museum activities and plans. The Garden of the Mount Vernon Hotel Museum is an exceptional space in the center of Manhattan and the site of the CDA annual garden party. It is an oasis within the bustle of the city and draws visitors who marvel at the beauty of a verdant garden amidst the concrete and steel of New York City. The museum, garden, and adjacent Abigail Adams Ballroom are often booked for weddings, meetings, and events. Over the decades, CDA has dedicated itself to historic preservation and education. The projects supported by the Society include gifts to the White House restoration led by First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy, the outdoor pulpit at the Chapel of Valley Forge, and the CDA Jamestown Memorial Gates, which were designed and presented to Jamestown by the Colonial Dames in 1907, marking the 300th anniversary of the original settlement. In 2019, the CDA Gates were restored by the Society in time for the celebration of the 400th anniversary of representational democracy in the original colonies. Dozens of dames joined American and international supporters of Jamestown and Preservation of Virginia for the presentation. Individual chapter projects help to preserve historic properties such as the Hampton National Historic Site in Maryland, the Abner Cloud House in Washington, D.C., the Cameron Stanford House in California, and the Ephraim McDowell House Museum in Kentucky. Chapters support cemetery restoration and research in Jacksonville, Florida, St. Kitts, and Rome, Italy, as well as the Society's educational programs.
In 1998, the annual CDA Award for Excellence was established to recognize outstanding chapter projects. The 2020 award honored the Atlanta chapter for its support of the Women's Comfort Station at Historic Oakland Cemetery. In addition, the Maria K. von Rensselaer Award honors outstanding chapter members and the chapter honor roll recognizes contributions to CDA by individual chapters. The 1890 Society commemorates the year of our founding by honoring donors of more than $1,890 in any one fiscal year. CDA has published books since the turn of the century, including the five-volume Letters of George Washington and Pages in Azure and Gold, written by two well-traveled dames to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Society in 1915, and reissued in 2015 for the 125th anniversary. Underscoring its commitment to American history and culture, the CDA Book Awards have been given since 1951. Authors who have received this respected awards include Doris Kearns Goodwin, Victoria Johnson, and David McCullough, who won for the second time in 2020. Two thousand and twenty one marks the seventieth anniversary of the CDA Book Awards. The beautiful and elegant insignia of the Colonial Dames of America was originally designed by Tiffany. More than a century and a quarter later, the insignia was refined, though not changed, and the CDA approved additional jewelry items to enhance the brand of the society. The CDA colors of cerulean blue and antique white were reconfirmed with new ribbons that set off our insignia. To commemorate the 130th anniversary of the Colonial Dames of America, a cloisonné ceramic pendant charm was produced in a limited edition. We celebrated our 130th anniversary with a new tagline, CDA America's First Colonial Dames. As the oldest women's colonial lineage society, our aim going forward is to respect our heritage by living up to our 21st century mission, to honor American history through preservation and education.